prison as a union and or marriage. Uh, prison is my wife, my confident, and my real. This is a hard one because you can either start out with this type of thinking or you can end up with this type of thinking. I mean, I don't know if it's a time, if we need to attach a time frame to it. Uh, I don't think anyone who goes into prison for the first time thinks that prison is a union or a marriage. Uh, but I do think on some level that after you have gone back and forth m multiple times that you that it must be a marriage to you. It must be your wife. It must be your confidant. It must be your rib. And rib goes back to um, the, the biblical story of Adam and Eve. But when you look at prison and you go back and forth to it and you refuse on some level to stay outside of prison, uh, you have become union with it even if you don't want to see it from the context of marriage uh the word marriage uh you have become union to it that you you both are unified there's a scripture uh in the bible amos 3 and 3 can two walk together unless they agree if you are returning to prison multiple times then you are in agreement with it you have become unified to it you have become it is your confidant. It is something that you trust um, and believe that works for you and that it is your real, that it works, it, that, it's, that it's something on the, uh, on the side of you that you keep close to your heart. And can you have fond mere memories of being in prison, some things, some days going good for you? Sure. I'm not going to knock that. I'm not going to knock that in the sense that you are wrong to think like that. No, you can have some fond memories. You can have um, um, some ideals about prison that you feel were good for you and that helped you to manage your life and learn things that you didn't get a chance to learn when you were living in your parents' house or caregiver. It's, it, it's funny how you learn how to wash dishes and manage manage and clean and all that kind of stuff and you learn it in prison when you didn't learn it in your house uh, uh oftentimes they may have some financial classes sometimes they definitely have um <clears throat> grief counseling type classes right how to how to overcome your anger whereas you had the opportunity to learn it in your house but the parent or caregiver did not provide the opportunity because the parent or caregiver had anger issues himself or herself. So they couldn't uh, give out the wisdom, dole out the wisdom necessary for you to um, reflect changed type behavior because they didn't change their behavior. So what they did affected you, had an impact upon you, contributed to your life, left a legacy that you now not only have to bear their burdens, but bear your own. But when you look at prison as a union, you're unified. You agree with the prison system if you continue to go back and forth into it. I got to say that again. You agree with the prison system and all that it reflects if you go back and forth into it. Because lack of agreement would be, uh, would be reflected in you staying out of it and coming into society and adopting a life plan that will help you to stay out of it. But if you go back and forth, that means you believe it. You believe in it, you agree with it, you support it, you you obey it, you comply with it. Um, um, it is your ride or die, right? That terminology that's also connected to romance is that ride or die. You can, you can ride or die or a prison will ride or die for you. And so then... If prison will ride or die for you and be there for you whenever you need it, then you're going to ride or die for prison and be there for whenever they need it. They need you. Because going back to that previous slide, you believe you need prison and you believe prison needs you. Otherwise, you wouldn't go back and forth. So this idea about union and or marriage it's something that I want you to think about because it also reminds me of shacking, when you shack with someone without marriage. And union 
works like that because you have some people who are called their relationship with someone a union versus an actual marriage when in reality they're just shacking and shacking you can get very comfortable in shacking it can seem like uh it is the life plan that you've been dreaming of and and that it is working and you're both together and you eat and sleep and learn whatever you can learn within that context and it can go on for 10, 15, 20 years. But then that person who is shacking with you, a lot of times it's a man and a woman. The man will shack with a woman for 10, 15 years, leave that situation because the woman uh, realizes he's never going to marry her, turn around and go get into another situation and marry another woman, marry someone in seven months. So they really didn't want to be with the person that they were with. They didn't really want to be with that person. But they put up with it for however long that they could put up with it until until they hit a brick wall or until the decision uh, to exit was made on their behalf, i.e. someone kicked them out. So the... Prison as a union and a marriage is a false sense of marriage. It's a false sense of it's shacking at the end of the day. And you're basically waiting until the right person comes along. But for this situation, shacking is the right person. So it's in the reverse order. It's in a disorder. Instead of working things out with the main partner on the outside, the person who goes back and forth into prison is looking at the unionization of prison as the true marital partner as a true pa uh, parent to mark uh, to uh, to marry because they'll give 10 15 20 25 years 30 years to prison that's a marriage that's a job really right you can retire after 25 years that's a marriage and they'll give all that time, give all their good years, give all their good mind and good body and good, and good heart to that prison that they're married to versus the person on the outside that they could give that to, their good heart, their good mind, their good body, their finances, their investment, everything. So they would rather be married to prison than they would be would rather be married to the person because once they get out, this is the person who keeps going in and out. Once they get out, they do all they can to mess up the situation that they're in with the person, with whether that person is just a life partner or union or marital partner. They do all they can to mess up that situation just so they can return to their true partner, which is the marital partner, which is the union. So I don't know. I just such an interesting uh, uh, subtopic. All right, so now that you've gotten to the end, this is, um, you can visit, subscribe, and follow. Um, my website is reginawhyfavors.com. Then you can visit my YouTube YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at reginawhyfavors. And then I have an author store, reginawhyfavorsauthor.com. I also have other types of websites as well. So thank you very much for listening.